knitting and paper cutting. Hello children, let's meet Jia. She is preparing for an event in her school. She is folding these beautiful colored papers and then cutting them to obtain these amazing patterns and structures. She is going to display her work at a stall in the school tomorrow. Children, if you like such activities, you can do it too. But you need to visualize how and where you want to fold and cut the paper to obtain the desired results. Let me tell you about paper folding and paper cutting today. This activity is not only art but also forms an important concept covered in reasoning. Paper folding and paper cutting involves a process in which a transparent sheet of paper is folded and then some cuts and or folds are made on it. In the questions based on paper folding and paper cutting, some figures are given showing the way in which a piece is folded and then cut from a particular section. The dotted line is the reference line along which the paper is to be folded and the arrow indicates the direction of the fold. Thus, these figures indicate the sequence in which a paper is to be folded. The designs from the cut will appear on each fold made on the paper. In questions based on paper folding and paper cutting, you can be asked to find the folded or unfolded pattern of the sheet. Let's look at some examples. Example 1. Choose the correct figure from the given options that will be obtained when the paper shown as figure X is folded. Look at the options on the screen. Here we have this transparent paper and two triangles are present on both sides of the dotted line. Let's fold this paper and see what happens. You can observe that both triangles overlap each other. Is there such a figure in options? Yes. So the correct answer is option B. Let's look at another example. Choose the correct figure that would most closely resemble the unfolded form of figure set. Here are the options. We will get to know better when we will do this. Let's start folding this paper. We need to fold this again. Now, let's cut a square here. Now, before unfolding this paper, let's analyze and visualize how it would look once we unfold it. We have cut the square along the edges of this paper. This means when we unfold it, there would be a small square cut along each edge of this paper. Now, let's unfold it. Do you see any such figure in the options? Yes, option A represents this figure and so it is the correct answer. Children, I hope you have understood the concept of paper folding and paper cutting. That's all for now. I will see you soon with a new concept. Goodbye.